Hey there, Randy Walker here, and I want to give a little tutorial on how to use this manual scoreboard, which is uh, something that you see very often at college tennis matches. And uh, basically uh, what you do is you, uh, for this particular scoreboard, we have a, a dry erase area here where you put the player's name. So uh, here for the Marty Fish Children's Foundation Tennis Championships, $15,000 futures event, ITF World Tennis Tour, USTA Pro Circuit, we're gonna put the names of two of the alumni of this event. So we'll put uh, the namesake of the tournament, Marty Fish, so big, letter so you can see it fish just for the sake of time I'm not gonna make that you know too bold but you really want to make it bold and thick lettering with these dry erase markers so that you can see it from a bit of a distance and then on this side we'll do Roddick Andy Roddick Marty's good friend and also alumni of this event. So I just did the dry erase. It's a little wet and this dry erase board is, uh, this pen is not great, but you really wanna make sure that the lettering is very bold and thick, maybe even go, you know, uh, too, too deep on the uh, side. Yeah, this marker is not very good. So anyway, you get the picture. Uh, but anyway, the, the scoring is quite easy. Um, basically, you, you take the number out. So let's say Marty uh, holds serve in the first game against Andy and you pull out the numbers and basically what you do is you take the number out and you put it to the back okay so then that's one and then as you can see how it's situated is it's one on both sides so people on both sides of the cord can read the number one uh so then what you do is if it's uh, marty breaks andy in the second game of the match and then it's two zero and it always goes to the back so how you can tell the order if you ever get the numbers out of order, is that the, the, the same numbers face each other on the stack. So as you can see, this is two, and then there's a two, then there's a, a three, and then a three. So the threes face each other on the stack. And then here we got a four, and then another four. So that's how you can tell the order. So then when it's two on both sides, and then let's say Marty holds serve again for three zero, then it's three on both sides. So uh, there you go. So that's the first set. Um, so let's uh, let's give Marty some bragging rights here. So he bagels Andy 6-0. Okay, so there we go. So we got six. It's on both sides. See that six and six. And we're going to put that here. Great set from Marty against Andy 6-0. And then you're going to the second set. And you're going to pull out... The second one, so uh, when we do a little charity game, Marty, uh, Andy holds serve to open the second set. There you go, one, one, zero. And then right in here. Sometimes they're, they jam a little bit where it gets a little stuck, so you just gotta be a little persistent there. We like to have these uh, little uh, paper clip things uh, and we put them on the side just so, you know, the numbers don't fly out or whatever. So there you go. The score is Marty Fish 6-0 in the first set, and Andy Roddick is up 1-0 in the second set. So you do this for all three, um, all three sets. And then, obviously, at the end of the match, you wipe out the names of the players, Roddick, Fish. And then you have the next set of players. Uh, and put their names up there and then started at zero and zero. So this is just a really great effective scoreboard. There's, I'm shocked how many tennis tournaments um, around the country, around the world, just don't have adequate scoring systems. You know, they may have those little things on the side, uh, you know, where it's like a set and whatever. And you're like, oh, who's purple and who's green, you know, on the, on the uh, you know, scores and so forth. But this has the actual names and then also actually has the set. So it's not like a set and three zero. Well, what was that first set? Was it six zero? Was it six four? Was it seven five, etc. So this explains the whole, um, the whole set. And 
you know, some people have also said like, oh, you know, I'm keeping the score, but there's nobody watching the match, but that's actually false. You know, a lot of people are just kind of, they'll walk over and they can look from a distance to see what the score is on that match. So they can prepare to sweep the court. We can prepare to, you know, maybe it's going to be upcoming, a final set tiebreaker coming up and you know that that's coming, you know, or also, you know, Hey, this match is almost over. It's, you know, six, four, five, zero, you know, we better get ready for the next match. So, um, you know, while there may not be people watching, directly on the court um, there are people watching it from afar and that's why these scoreboards are so good because you can see the score from afar so uh, anyway that's this is Randy Walker from Vero Beach Florida and this is how you use this type scoreboard